The Bill of Rights After the American Declaration of Independence in 1776, the Founding Fathers turned to the composition of the states and then the Federal Constitution. At first, the Bill of Rights was not initially deemed important but the Constitution supporters realized it was crucial to achieving ratification. Six months later, the Bill of Rights had been submitted to the states. As a result, James Madison wrote 12 amendments and presented them to the first Congress in 1789. On December 15, 1791, two years later, 10 of the amendments were passed and made part of the Constitution. The Bill of Rights are the first 10 amendments to the United States Constitution. The idea behind the Bill of Rights was to ensure certain freedoms and rights to the citizens of America. It puts limits on what the government could do and control. The First Amendment states that Congress shall make no law preventing the establishment of religion or prohibiting its free exercise. Also protected are freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly. The Second Amendment protects citizens' rights to bear arms. The Third Amendment prevents the government from placing troops in private homes. This was a real problem during the American Revolutionary War. The Fourth Amendment. This amendment prevents the government from unreasonable search and seizure of property of U.S. citizens. It requires the government to have a warrant that was issued by a judge and based on probable cause. The Fifth Amendment. The Fifth Amendment is famous for people saying, I'll take the Fifth. This gives people the right to choose not to testify in courts if they feel their own testimony will incriminate themselves. The Sixth Amendment guarantees a speedy trial by a jury of one's peers. Also, people accused are to be informed of the crimes which they are charged and have the right to confront the witnesses brought by the government. The Seventh Amendment provides that civil cause also be tried by jury. The Eighth Amendment prohibits excessive bail, excessive fines, and cruel and unusual punishments. The Ninth Amendment states that the list of rights described in the Constitution is not limited to the original rights and that the people still have all the rights that are not listed. The Tenth Amendment gives all powers not specifically given to the United States government in the Constitution, but to either the states or to the people. The original Constitution has been amended a number of times, but the Bill of Rights have never been amended. Now there is no doubt that the Bill of Rights are in place to protect us as the people.